Happy New Year! Carolyn here. Thank you for joining us for our first episode of 2021. So I think we can all agree 2020 was one big old bag of lemons. The relentless COVID-19 has left a sour taste in our reality and the division among many family, friends, and neighbors has burnt an acidic hole in our hearts. Newsflash! Lemons are not all bad. Let's take a look at this tangy fruit and uncover some of its virtues in this JLW episode. When life gives you lemons, lemonade is so last year. For starters, that distinctive sour taste of lemons makes it a key ingredient in countless drink and food recipes. And lemons blend well with desserts, meats, vegetables, and even other fruit. Early explorers took lemons on long voyages to help prevent and treat scurvy, the life-threatening vitamin C deficiency that was common among sailors. And the yellow citrus was in demand during the 1849 California Gold Rush. Scurvy was widespread among miners, so they were willing to pay top dollar for lemons. As a result, California stepped up and produced tons of lemons to sell to the miners, at a premium, of course. And to this day, Cali continues to be the top producer of lemons in the U.S. The lemon tree is thought to be native to Asia and brought to the Americas about 1493 via that notorious explorer, Christopher Columbus. So there are three main lemon types. There's the Meyer lemon. This less acidic, round, smooth skinned lemon is a cross between a mandarin orange and a citrone, which is one of the original citrus fruits from which all other citrus fruit developed. Meyers have a deep yellow color and can have a slight orange tint when ripe. This lemon is named after a U.S. Department of Agriculture employee, Frank Nicholas Meyer. Meyer introduced the plant to the U.S. in 1908 after a trip to China, where it was primarily used as an ornamental plant. Meyer lemons gained major popularity in the mid-2000s when TV personality Martha Stewart began featuring them in many of her recipes. As Martha would say, it's a good thing. There's the uber-popular Eureka lemon. Due to its abundant year-round fruit production, this is the most common lemon sold around the globe. Though the Eureka is native to California, its origins dates back to the 19th century Italy. Eurekas are large, textured, tangy, and just full of juice. The Feminello or Sorrento lemon is native to the Alfalmi coast of Italy. This lemon has a rich, smooth, slightly sweet flavor and releases a rich aroma when cut. This is the lemon traditionally used to make that fabulous limoncello, the irresistible liqueur used in many yummy drinks and desserts. The juice of Feminella was ideal for making lemon curd, lemon risotto, and delicious Sicilian style spaghetti with lemons and breadcrumbs. There's a link in the description of this video for this mouthwatering recipe. So with proper care, a lemon tree can live 50 to 100 years. As already mentioned, a dash of lemon can do wonders to elevate the flavors in a dish, and lemon zest, the grated outer rind, is used in cakes, puddings, vegetable dishes, rice, and many other dishes. Want more juice out of that lemon? Microwave it for 30 seconds, and voila, an abundance of juice will flow. I recommend microwaving the lemon whole. The juice capsules burst within the fruit as the lemon heats from the inside out. If cut, the heat will likely soak up some of the moisture of the lemon. Don't like the taste of water? Add a spritz of lemon for flavor. You'll drink more H2O and therefore stay better hydrated. Lemons are full of healthy nutrients too. The tangy fruit is an excellent source of the antioxidant vitamin C, the so-called jumper cable for your immune system. The citric acid in lemons can help prevent kidney stones, 
by increasing urine pH and volume, which creates an environment that's less favorable for kidney stone formation. Lemons contain high amounts of citric acid, but when lemons are digested, they can actually become alkaline forming and no longer contribute acids to your system. A lemon juice and hot water is a good sore throat remedy and it's antibacterial. Lemons have a multitude of uses, like sprinkling lemon juice on fruit can prevent them from browning. One experiment that involved attaching electrodes to a lemon created a battery that produced electricity. Several lemon batteries can power a small digital watch. Okay, okay, so I think you get the picture. Lemons, much like 2020, are not all about being bitter and corrosive. Lemons can also be refreshing and enhancing and zestful, much like this new year can be. Look, if you're like most people, your new year's resolution went something like this. Exercise more, eat less, adopt healthier habits. Stop nagging your husband. Oh no, well that last one was mine. Anyway, by adding lemons to your diet, you'll be on your way to a healthier new year. So the next time you hear, when life gives you lemons, say, yeah, bring it on. Then squeeze the shh out of those lemons. We sure hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. We would love to hear from you in the comments of this video. Please share your New Year's resolutions or how you plan to utilize all those leftover lemons from 2020. Until next time, ciao!